Kristen Dunst is under fire once again. Days after coming under fire for her sexist, rather anti-feminist comments about gender roles within the household, Kristen Dunst, Dunst is at it again, claiming the headlines for implying in an interview with an editor from W Magazine that women who are sexually assaulted in Hollywood are asking for it. The interviewer asked, what if a director pounces on you while working? Has that ever happened? Kirsten Dunst responds by saying, no, <laughs> and chuckling, and goes on to say, I don't give off that vibe. I think that you, I think that you court that stuff. And to me, it's crossing a boundary that would, that would hinder the trust in your working relationship. Now this seems pretty obvious to me. It seems pretty blatant, more than just a mere implication. She's saying if you don't want to be insulted, then you shouldn't quote court that stuff. Dunst is still coming is still causing outrage among many people for her recent declaration that you need men to be men and women to be women within the household because that's just the way relationships are supposed to work. So what do you guys think? Okay, so it's kind of funny you're asking a panel full of men <laughs> about a feminist issue. Um, sort of hilarious. Because little... we're all terrified to answer. <laughs> it's a little little ironic, but um, okay, so what I think is that um, obviously nobody's asking for it. And so the the implication of what she's saying is basically, well, you kind of bring it upon yourself. You court that behavior, you bring it upon yourself, so you get assaulted. Don't be surprised. It's uh, It seems like it's one of those things, and maybe we're taking her out of context. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know all that much about Kirsten Dunst. But it seems like she's sort of playing that uh, blame the victim mentality. If you get assaulted, that's your fault. You shouldn't have courted that. Oh, well. Sad day for you. Correct me right. I tried, to, I, I tried to remain rather skeptical uh, of the article because I know that people can often be taken out of context but in this situation it seems to be pretty blatant and clear exactly what was asked and how it was answered um, but yeah basically it seems pretty obvious that uh, she's not particularly interested in being uh, a feminist or pro-woman in any way and feels I don't know uh, openly hostile even sometimes towards her uh, fellow women. Uh, for, I mean, it, it seems very nasty to imply that any woman would be bringing it upon herself when a director attacks her and sexually assaults her. So. I, like, for me, between the two comments that she made, I think the ones about kind of the gender roles and men being men and women being women in the household are a bit more egregious. And I agree, I, like, I, I do think these, con these kind of the second load of comments about kind of actresses and um, bringing it on themselves if they kind of act a certain way and stuff I think they could possibly be, you know be slightly taken out of context and if you maybe saw the overall flow of the rest of the interview that might slightly change your opinion of what she was maybe hinting at for me like I mean obviously kind of no woman deserves to be attacked no matter how she's acting or something potentially Kirsten Dunst could have been trying to get across the point that do women sometimes put themselves in kind of stupid situations if they may be being a bit naive and stuff, if they've maybe had a bit too much to drink? They can put themselves in stupid situations, and there are kind of a number of times that they do, whether it's, you know, not even just in the kind of the celebrity world, if you're kind of in the acting world, but just in kind of clubs and pubs across the entire world. Of course women do that all the time, but that still doesn't mean that, you know, that they deserve to be kind of sexually assaulted or anything. Yes, women and well and men as well can put themselves in stupid situations. And I think her point was just women can sometimes maybe be a bit naive. And obviously she knows about the acting world and she's probably seen and known a number of kind of female acquaintances who have gone into kind of directing kind of couch calls and stuff like that and have maybe gone into them a bit naively um, without possibly thinking about certain scenarios that could come up and that's maybe why she has a bit of greater insight and if she elaborated on her point a bit more then maybe her comments wouldn't seem as stupid as they are so I don't want to completely condemn her I think she she maybe she should come out and clarify her position but then again it's Kirsten Dunst so to be honest who 
really cares what she thinks. She can think whatever the hell she likes as far as I'm concerned. Right. And that's true. And I felt that way at first, too. It's like, whatever. Her opinion is not, shouldn't be it's that like significant. It's like your opinion, man. Right. It's Supposedly, it's just her opinion. She's just a celebrity. Who cares? But then I thought about it, and I was like, and, and I thought, more important than Kirsten Dunst's single view is the world view as a whole that her view represents regarding women and gender and feminism and rape. And there's just something screwed up uh, about a society that thinks that women are bringing it upon themselves when they're attacked or assaulted. You should have known that was going to happen. Uh, you shouldn't have been flirting with him. Why did you go in wearing that? And also, Kirsten Dunst, whether we like it or not, acts as a role model to many people uh, and many women especially. And so it can be it can be rather significant when major major uh, um, uh, celebrities and public figures hold these types of opinions. All right, I, I need to defend her from a completely different angle than Stephen took. One, th there's a lot of merit to what everybody said, and I'm even a little bit uncomfortable with uh, with what uh, Stephen said. Oh, not that I don't think it's true, but I think it's kind of act because because that is reality, right? Like you put yourself in these in less than wise situations and bad things happen. But I think we have to be really really careful and really really vigilant to draw a difference between acknowledging that unfortunate reality and acquiescing to that reality and acting like the onus then is on people to, to not do that rather than to change that reality. Uh, it, it, it is a very, it's a, it's a good-hearted thing, and, you, and when people very say that, they mean well. I love well. that point. Well, thank you, thank you. But, uh, you know, they mean well, and, and, and it is true, but, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, it, it's oversimplified, but, you know, Maybe instead of, you know, or th there's a chart that says, you know, like what causes rapes and it's like, you know, women's skirt length, yada, 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 and the bottom one is rapist. And 100% of the answer is rapist. Um, and, and so, so you know, I, I get what Stephen's saying and I get that it's true, but we just, we can't be, you know, we can't be resigned to that. But right, and no, no matter what situation you put yourself in, you're still not asking for it. So, right, right. And that's, that's the overall point. And that's what where I think what I think Kirsten Dunst is actually saying here. I, I feel like things that are working against her, and, and I don't follow Hollywood in general <laughs> all that well, and, and really not even her, uh, uh, or her even less so, I should say. Um, but uh, uh, she's a wonderful actress. I don't really have anything against her. Just for whatever reason, I don't follow her. Um, but uh, anyway, um, What's working against her is the fact that this came on the heels, or at least got picked up on the heels of apparently some unfortunate comments that she made, you know, fairly recently. And so, like, it kind of creates that environment, you know, where we're quick to to want to gang up on her. But whenever I read the actual quote here, I feel like we're we're really informing a lot of context here and, and framing this in a way that I don't know the quote asks itself to be framed in. Now, you know, I, I'm I'm leery about saying what is or isn't going on in someone's head anyway, because I've had people do that about me, and it's I feel pretty horrible when people do it about me and misjudge me. But um, uh, so the, she, the question is, what if a director pounces on you while working? Has that ever happened? And she says no, and laughs. I don't give off that vibe. So that part does kind of speak to what you guys were saying. But here's what what I think we're missing: what she actually said. I think you court that stuff, and to me, it's crossing a boundary that would hinder the trust in your working relationship. I think what she's saying is empowering to females, that she's saying you don't have to sleep your way to the top. She's not talking about women who get raped because they put their ask for it. She's talking about women who willfully you know, sleep with their bosses or whatever because they think that's the only way to succeed. And she's saying you don't have to do that. You're a strong, intelligent woman. You're talented. I didn't have to do that. Look at me. I made it. You can do it too. And the reason why I really think that's the case is because she says it's crossing a boundary that would hinder the trust in your relationship. That's that's volitional language. That's not taking advantage of some rape. That's that's saying like you are willfully making a relationship, uh, a not strictly professional relationship, and trying to manipulate it personally at your own expense. You know, uh, oddly enough, because that's the society we live in, where women have to or feel like they have to degrade themselves. To get ahead, and I think she what what she's really saying here is don't do that. And because of this kind of 
a dumb comment that she may have made in the past, we're, we're quick to judge and completely reinterpret what she actually said. And, and I certainly hope that that your theory is is absolutely right. You know, because I do agree with that. I, I think that's a, a, an excellent point. And if she had made that excellent point, I you know, hey, great. Still doesn't remove the unfortunate comment from before, which is once again unfortunate. But nonetheless, if this comment is what you you know is interpreted in the way that you're interpreting it, Jordan, then I absolutely agree. And at least she gets some uh, credibility back. Not that like her credibility to me really like fucking matters. 